All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word in sincerity and truth. All right, I'm back at you again with another lesson. As always, may the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, allow me to edify those of the hopeful elect. So with that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. All right. And um, you know, I just want to touch on um these verses, a few verses here in Hebrews, all right, chapter three and, and uh the beginning of chapter four. You know, this word is very important, you know, and it should be very important to you inwardly, you know, as an individual, because you know, my one of my favorite scriptures Paul said was uh Romans the fourteenth chapter. He said, um, have thou faith have it to thyself before the most high you know and um that's that's very uh to me those speak it's powerful you know because you got to keep that in mind you know what are you on this truth for you know you're in this truth because you seek salvation all right you want to be delivered so that means that you fear the most high now we got a lot of bug outs you know that's out here you know and um you got guys that was really never a part of us so they fell away you know and falling away is a, a horrible thing you know it's a you know it's a thing that because the scriptures say you know you should have never even tasted of the heavenly gift you know you're going to receive more stripes you know and um one thing you like to say sometimes is uh the hardest thing about you know being in the truth is truly uh, just stand in the truth, you know, enduring all the way to the end. You know, the, the scriptures say that uh, no angel, no principality, not even our Lord Yahweh Shai, know that set day. So once you come into this truth, you know, you're, you're basically in prison. You know, you're in prison to Yahweh Shai. You know, Paul even mentioned that. He said, I am a prisoner of Yahweh Shai, man. And we are too. But it's not a prison of, you know, in a bad thing. It's a good thing. You know, the Lord have basically, you know, renewed our minds, our spirits and took us out of this world, you know, because we're not a part of this world. All right. This world is going to be destroyed. You know, I mean, the Lord have mercy on his elect who he have taken away from this world. All right. Far as this mind and spirit and then really physically. All right. Because those that are here in Babylon, the great, which is known as America, North America, you know, the elect is going to be taken up in the chariots. Right before the destruction hit. All right. And the way of destruction is coming by the way of thermonuclear fire and also fire from the angels, from the chariots, from the Lord. All right. And um, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to start here at Hebrews 3 and 12. It says, take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living power. All right. So, you know, take heed. Take heed while these uh, guys fell away. And these bug outs, you know, they receive seven more demons on them. You know, you got to take heed, man. Because why? You know, you don't want that to be you. And that's why it's very important to fear the most high. All right. You know, learn yourself. You know, learn the Lord. Le learn, learn, learn the scriptures. All right. This, this truth is truly all about learning. You know, it's, we come from different walks and ways of life, brothers from different cities and countries. And you saw life in your in your vein, excuse me, you saw life in your uh your lens, all right? Your your vision. But now that the most high has woken you up, all right, through the word, through the spirit of his son, Yahweh Shai, you now see the life through the real the real lens, all right, which is the, the true vision that he has given us, all right, which is us knowing who we are again, all right, us our know, knowing our power was his name. You know, us knowing that the salvation unto the elect, you know, the destruction unto the wicked, you know, uh, the Jacob's trouble that's going to approach soon, you know, the mark of the beast, the prophecies, you know, we got the vision, you know, so we all got that one vision, but our flesh, maybe our mannerism, let me say, for them, hey, those of the elect, it's, it's the same as well, you know, but different speech and language, brothers of different parts, different talents. You know, brothers have received different measures of faith. You know, hey, you know, we all come from different walks, but what we have 
is that we have the truth. We have the way. We have the way to salvation. And that's only one way. And that's through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And to be honest with you, you know, this probably make a lot of people mad that not spiritual, but that one way is coming through certain men, you know, teaching you the correct way. Because I'm going to say this, you know, here at Great Millstone, we have what? 100% truth, you know, and we're not proud and, and wickedly saying that is just confidence and knowing that we know the scriptures. All right. We bring out all the scriptures. All right. There's no topic in the scriptures from the Old Testament to the New that, um, that 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 uh brothers have not went over you know or the apostles have not went over all right so let me get back to the precept it says uh take heed brethren lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief knowing that if you have an unbelief and it's truth you have an evil heart so don't so you know it doesn't matter if a guy you know he's this you know nine to five uh a man so a good man what they call this today a good man he works his butt off he take care of his woman take care of his children he, he he goes on the holidays he celebrates with his you know you know the, the ways of this world you know if he have an unbelief within this truth believing in Yahweh Bashem Al Shai he's an Israelite all right and he has an evil heart all right there's no such thing as a uh innocent you know there's no such thing as a good person all right you know a good, if you want to say someone that is good say the most high say yahweh shah because none of us are good you know we're in the sinful flesh but we're striving for good we're striving for perfection we're striving to be perfect you know we're striving we hope the lord you know renew our spirits you know give us that strength and take out this fleshly heart that's in us you know that stony heart and make us perfect all right, but it says, take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief. So if you don't believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that person has an evil heart. Doesn't matter if this is he's a nice old lady. Doesn't matter if he's a cool old guy, cool young cat. Nah, if he don't believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, at the end of the day, he's going to be destroyed. All right, and I'm talking mainly to the Israelites because the Israelites is the ones that can be delivered, that can be saved. All right, you other nations, you are in... You are in your kingdom, okay? Esau, you are in your kingdom, all right? Who need a savior? The so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. We truly need a savior. You know, we're in the lowest condition. We're in the slums, all right? We're the first fired, the last hired, all right? Our people are getting killed left and right in the streets. We are, you know, come on, man. We need a savior. You don't need no savior. So worship Jesus Christ and see if he saved you in that day. All right. Like Yahweh Shah told that woman. All right. He said, we know who we worship. You know, we know, you know, but you guys don't. And that's why you continue to keep praying into Jesus Christ as if that man was the Messiah of the scriptures. And he's not. Christianity is not the doctrine of the scriptures. That is Esau's plantation slavery doctrine. You know, teachings of hell and teachers that, you know, you go to your theologian school and things that matter. They're teaching you the scriptures. And that's not the way of the Lord. All right. Um, one of my favorite scriptures I quote a lot, Jeremiah 3.15. He said, I will give you passes according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. OK, so when you truly get out of the understanding, knowledge and understanding from the men of the Lord, you know, you're truly edified. All right. You know, you're not you're not thirsted anymore, as the scriptures would say, you know, out of your belly shall flow livers of riven water. You will be able to speak. The righteous things, which is the words of the Lord, man. All right. So it says in departing from the living power. So departing away from the most high, you are evil, man. Now, verse 13, it says, but exhort one another daily. And that's what brothers do, man. When we link up, brothers chat, you know, brothers show that hospitality, our brother love, show charity. You know, it says, but exhort one another daily while it is called today because we all we got, man. Ain't nobody else out here teaching this truth, man. All right? Ain't nobody else out here teaching this truth the way the men of the Lord are, starting with the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, man. All right? And the brothers on and down, and then the few brothers that's around that's not in Great Millstone under that banner, but they're teaching the truth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the prophecies, Mark of the Beast, Chip, you know, Jacob's Trouble. But exhort one another daily while it is called today. 
And like I said, man, you know, we're the ones teaching the truth. You know, you got guys that call themselves Israelites, but they're teaching a false doctrine. You know, not really giving you the truth. You know, you got men out here for filthy lucas sake. You know, the pride of men. You know, uh, lovers of themselves, extortioners. Come on. You know, it's there. You just gotta, you gotta see it, man. All right. Then you got these uh, wacky tacky Christians that don't have a clue. They don't even have the truth. They go off of the world, off of they go off of their life off of feelings and emotions. And that ain't how you live life off of feelings and emotions. If that was the case, then we'll all be dead, man. All right. Feelings and emotions. All that does is lead, lead, lead to destruction, man. All right. You know, making what the brother Shaw would say, making uh, permanent decisions and temporary matters. You know, it's a temporary matter because your emotions is running, running crazy. And then you make a permanent decision. That permanent decision could lead you dead or lead you stuck in jail somewhere or lead you to be destroyed by a wicked woman. All right. And vice versa. Women getting into a, uh, having a wicked man, you know. So it says, um, it says, um, for we are made partakers, excuse me, verse 13, but exhort one another daily while it is called today. Least any of you be heartened through the deceitfulness of sin. All right. And what is sin? Sin is the, the transgressions of the law, the transgression of the law. All right. So, you know, us being partakers of this truth, you know, may the most high have mercy on us. All right. You don't want to be a transgressor of the law, man. OK, you don't want to willfully sin. You know, we all come short of the glory of the most high. As the scriptures say, so us even being in this truth, we go off, you know, you know, hey, you going off if you have mixed fabrics, you got IURC always pushing the vibration of where your fringe is, you know, but then again, you got mixed fabrics on. Then again, you got shape ups and lineups, but the Bible and the law clearly tells you not to get lined up. All right. So anyway, man, it says, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, least any of you be heartened through the deceitful of sin the deceitfulness of sin and esau is good for deceiving you into you sinning all right always making it sound cool that's why we understand those of the whole for leg we know who the devil of the bible is man and that's esau edom and goes back all the way to the serpent in the garden all right his slick tongue his his conniving uh, uh, uh crafty ways all right you look at everything that he produces everything he puts his hands on it's all deceitfulness. It's cunning. It's to make you go against your power, man. Everything that he does as far as this, this wicked society is backwards of the most high. Literally taken out of the manuscript. Literally taken out of the Bible and turned around. All right. It says, verse 14, for we are made partakers of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So we're partakers. Okay. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end, all right? Yahweh Shai suffered, we're going to suffer in this world, man. So don't think you all alone when you're going through it. And don't think you're the only one that went through something like that, you know? Don't think that you're the only one catching hell and nobody's not. Man, brothers all over the world, that's of the hopeful elect to catching hell, man, you know? And every brother got their time where they catch hell. And sometimes with a brother, Lord, Lord let, let it be easy on you, you know, a little bit, you know? That's just how it is in this truth. All right. So it says, for we hold, it says, for we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. So we have to always keep this gospel until the end. All right. We have to keep our uh, faith until the end. Verse 15. While it is said today, if we will hear his voice, hearten not your hearts as in the provocation. So this is the thing that the world don't understand. They don't understand that the men of the Lord starting with the apostles and the elders of great millstone, all right, out there teaching this truth, they don't understand that that's the voice of the Lord. A lot of you folks out there, you think that the voice of the Lord is, uh, he's going to say something in the heavens, he's going to say something in your dream, which the Lord can do all these things. But the Most High is a, is a uh, he set up in order. He set up his prophets to be a mouthpiece unto him. And that's all throughout the scriptures. This is why you have a book of the prophets. They got word from the Most High. They went out and taught what the Lord told them to say. And it was the voice for the Lord. This is what you people fail to realize. All right. It says, well, it is said today, if we will hear his voice, see, notice, hear his voice. His voice is the word. 
His voice is the gospel, the doctrine being being preached, being pushed through the four corners of the earth on the highways of the Internet of Things. All right. And even on the streets, highways and byways, either you see brothers in person or you see brothers on this camera, man. You see brothers on your cell phone and computers. All right. It says heart and not your hearts as in the provocation. Verse 16, for some, when they had heard, did provoke. And that's right. You got scoffers, man. You heard this word and then you provoked the most high. Here it is. The Lord, you know, drawed you into listening, listening. But instead, you're looking at the outward appearance of man, not taking heed of what the message is, is saying to you, what the Lord's voice is saying to you. All right. So they provoked the most high, man. It says for some when they when they had heard did provoke. How be it not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. All right. Because going back in the time of Moses. When Moses was set up, all right, to deliver the children of Israel by the power of the Most High and Yahweh Shai, all right, you had uh, a lot of Israelites, a boatload of all of us being uh, delivered, being being uh, basically uh, having our path to get away from Egypt, man. But then you had a lot of guys, a lot of two thirds, the third and fourth generation that the Lord said that hate him. A lot of these people either went back or they was just plain up wicked, man. Even after seeing all of the works of the Most High, they were still wicked, man. You know, you had some that went back to Egypt. You had some that was just wicked in the wilderness with Moses, man. All right. So it says, but with whom was he grieved 40 years? All right. Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? See? All right. And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not all right so the rest is representing salvation so the most high numbered them he numbered them all right those that will not enter into his rest all right and we know that to be who the two-thirds man all right you have 144,000 men all right 12,000 of each tribe they are all men you have basically one-third you know women children then you got the unnumberable multitude man all right. That's outside of America. But for the most part, the Lord said the two thirds of his people going to die, man. All right. They're going to get put to death for their wickedness. That's why the most high have blinded you guys, man. This is why you can't get it. And you provoke the most high to anger every day. Every day. All right. It says verse 19. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Because in all reality, the saint, because... In all reality, you never believe, man. You know, you can dress like an Israelite. You can talk like an Israelite. You can quote scriptures like a prophet. But if you don't believe in the inward part of you, you're not going to make it, man. And it's going to show. All right. You was never of his, man. You was never of the Lord, man. You just numbered of the two thirds. See, today, um, it's this thing far as social media where everyone wants to pick up a camera and becomes this this famous star known for something and they want to be you know uh uh you know they want to spring you know you got a lot of guys springing up out of nowhere want to be this this uh this this person they want glory you know they carry pride you guys gonna be shut down man and that's why all these people think they could pick up the bible and just read because you see other young men or you see men speaking the scriptures and then you think you can do it but you have to be trained up See, when you're playing with this word, you're playing with a dangerous thing. You're playing with your life. All right. You don't play. You got these guys. I see brothers doing videos on it. These three guys, three young dudes in a car talking about how come they uh they left to being a Hebrew Israelite. You can't leave being a Hebrew Israelite if you are Hebrew Israelite. All right. But from the doctrines and customs, you can do that if you want to. You don't have to worship the most high if you don't want to. All right. But guess what? You're going to pay the price in the end. Then you got these guys talking shit, really doing it for clickbait, to be a YouTube star. You, you, This guy made that video so he can get some attention from for, for views, man. All right? These people today want to be YouTube stars, man. So you think that you can probably either, you know, you want to challenge the prophets so you can get some attention there, you know, or you think you are a prophet, you know? Because you think you can just, you know, just just get out there, 
jump out of nowhere, spring up out of nowhere and, and become this elder, you know, this master teacher, you know, this, uh, what who we call that guy, uh, this, uh, now nah, I forgot what I, I forgot how to say it, but, um, anyway, man, this is Hebrews chapter four and one. It says, let us therefore fear, least the promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. All right. So if you scoffing against the men of the Lord, guess what? You have heard the gospel of the Lord. OK. And you're, you've been marked. All right. You've been marked. All right. Because the whole deal is that the Lord want this word to be out. He want everyone to know of the Hebrew Israelites, whether they accept it, whether they hear or, what, or whether they forbear. All right. You know, the most High said when this when this word go through the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. So the Lord's goal is to spread this word, whether you take heed to it or you don't, because the elect is his. The elect is going to wake up. The elect is going to be delivered. All right. But you're going to hear this word. All right. It says, let us therefore fear, least a promise being left us of entering, entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. All right. And he's a brother. You know, here it is. <coughs> Coming to the truth, you know, but you stop fearing. You know, you're just doing willful sin and you don't fear the Lord. You stop doing what the Lord told you to do. You don't want to go out and teach. You don't want to go on the highways and byways. You're dreading this. You're dreading that, you know. Trying to stay under the radar because you're afraid brother going to do a video on you. You know what I'm saying? But really, you just, you just, you just tagging along, you know, to be destroyed, man. All right? Because if it ain't in you to do it, then just go back into the world. It says, verse 2, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. This word is supposed to profit you, man. All right? When you hear the words of the Lord and you understand this truth. It's supposed to profit you, profit you, all right, and you're growing in the truth, and you're and you're getting closer to the Lord, you know, getting more understanding so you can do better in the Lord's sight, all right, in the Lord's eyes, man, so you can actually please the Lord, you know. Hey, scriptures say it was our mind to go astray. Seek the Lord ten times more, man, and that's not enough that we can do to please the Lord, man. Yahweh Shah Himself, our Messiah, our Savior, He gave up His life, all right. He gave up his life. This is why Paul said in Romans 12, give thy body as a living sacrifice, man. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick because it's, it's something else after that. That's that's important that he said. Um, this is Romans chapter 12 and one. Now it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service and that's the importance that he said there your reasonable service you know how could we pay back the lord man you know we have to we in debt that's why in the prayer you know we ask the lord forgive our debts all right as we forgive those you know this is see see you should be you should be growing you should be loving more in this truth it should be your love man it should become your woman man you know you know, it should become a part of you. You should wake up, sleep it, eat it. You know, the Lord is in all our thoughts every day, man. Every day. Every day, man. It's not a day to, for me, you know, that I go by that I don't think about the Lord because you're supposed to put up prayers every day. Put up prayers constantly, man. You know, you know, you can't even tell, can't even count how many times you put up prayers because you're always talking with the Lord, man. You know? So anyway, it says um, Hebrews 4 and... And uh, three, it says, for we which have believed do enter, excuse me, let me read two again. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. It says, for we which have believed do enter into, into rest, and that's salvation. All right. Those that do believe will enter into his salvation. It says, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath. If they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Okay? Because the Most High have established the elect 
from the beginning. Okay? So it says, verse 4, For he say, excuse me, For he speck in a certain place of the seventh day on his wise, and the Most High did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. And they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. Okay. It says, verse 7, again, he limited a certain day, saying, in David, today, after a long time, long of a time, as it is said, today, if ye will hear his voice, hearten not your hearts. All right. Yahweh Shai laid his life down for the children of Israel, in particular, the elect. So, you know, I know it's a little, but 27 minutes. I hope this lets him edifying. I'm going to leave it with that. Um, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. Uh, hopefully you have understanding, you know, may the Lord strengthen the brothers out there, you know, starting with the apostles and elders. All right. And then the brothers on down in the camps, leaders of camps. May the Lord keep your, your, you know, your strength, you know, keep you, keep you strong in the faith, you know. And I pray for you, brothers, you know, for the Lord, for all of us, man, that um, that we, we be getting up, get up out of here, man, you know. And that brothers that maintain their faith until the end, man, the brothers that are sincere. You know, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.